We want to start, though, in Baltimore County tonight in Essex. Family and neighbors paying their respects to a man who was stabbed to death there last week. WMAR 2 News' Jack Watson was there, and he spoke with family members tonight. Jack? Well, Kelly, certainly a somber night in Essex over at the Park and Ride on Eastern Boulevard. Dozens sharing their memories of Keith Yeager. Thank you so much. I, I am glad that, that you know, everybody has come out to um, remember him. I think that would have definitely made his day. 63-year-old <laughs> Keith Yeager left behind one daughter, Amy Vincent. I talked to him every day, multiple times a day, and he was really never in a bad mood. He always found something to smile about. She tells me she just texted her father last Monday. Days later, she and dozens more joined together in Essex. Candles out and memories shared of her father. Not far away from the site of the Tuesday vigil, on the night of October 16th, Police in Baltimore County responded to the Eastern Boulevard Bridge, an area they say they don't frequently get called to. They found a man stabbed several times. It was Jaeger. He died in the hospital. Last Friday, a 55-year-old man named Gregory Hare gave himself up to police. If you can help somebody... I'm told Jaeger had fallen on hard times. He had experienced homelessness and was a frequent visitor at the community care center for local men's shelter, Churches for Streets of Hope who helped organize the Tuesday vigil with the family. Keith had visited us on that day. He was at our dinner around right about 6, 6.30, sat down, talked to me for a few minutes, and then hearing what had happened, 10 o'clock, we just immediately jumped to creating that awareness. An individual's circumstances doesn't define them. You know, that he's still exactly. somebody's uh, brother, father, um, uncle. As you see here, there's a lot of friends and family. And on that note, the show of support from this community strikes a chord with those Jaeger Please left behind, be including his daughter. I mean, everybody has had nothing but nice things to say about him. And like, he, he was just Mr. Popular in the neighborhood. So it does, um, you know, really warm my heart that everybody has such nice things and nice memories of him. With memories shared both on this board and aloud, Vincent and dozens more saying goodbye to a loved one and a beloved member of this community. Well, again, a man named Gregory Hare was arrested last week. He is facing one charge of first-degree murder. Hare has a preliminary hearing scheduled for November 17th.